Hello viewers, Elements 118, and uh, I apologise for it seeming like an age since I last uploaded a video. Um, I tried to get this video uploaded on Wednesday, but uh, unfortunately after I recorded it, the video and audio weren't in sync, which was really annoying. Uh, anyway, what you're looking at here, as promised, is Armoured Warfare, which, if you're going to describe it in as few words as possible, uh, it's a modern day version of World of Tanks. All the vehicles are sort of from the Cold War up to the present day. Whereas in World of Tanks, sort of the mid 20th century from the interwar years up to the Cold War. Uh, Armored Warfare went into open beta testing not too long ago. Um, consequently, I haven't progressed up further than tier 3. Um, but it's a really fun game. Um, I'm going to show you some games later. Um, that I've pre-recorded, um, but uh, while we're in the garage, I'm just going to give you a little tour. Um, the interface is very similar to World of Tanks, um, and in fact, Armored Warfare is designed to attract the audience from World of Tanks, for instance, and so all the controls and the interface and everything else is very similar, so you can literally just get into the game uh, and get playing virtually straight away. There's, there's not a great deal of difference. Um, between the two games. The major difference, of course, is this, that the vehicles are more modern than they are in World of Tanks, at least for the most part. So up here, um, this is the garage that we're in now. Um, if we click up here, we can go into Upgrade, um, which is just like clicking Research um, in World of Tanks. It gives you all the different uh, modules and things you can research for your tank. Um, Another difference between World of Tanks and Armored Warfare is that in Armored Warfare the shells seem to be more um, historical and you can actually research new shell types. Um, you can see here for the PT-76 which is one of the tier 1 vehicles I've researched everything in there. Um, so I suppose you would call it Elite um, although I'm not sure it's exactly called that in Armored Warfare. You click up here in Dealers um, it's just like clicking tech tree because it takes you to uh, either one of the two tech trees um, you can see the tiers down the sides and different vehicles that are available and so forth uh, back in the garage down the bottom as you would expect you can see all your vehicles that you've got um, there are arrows to scroll through them but I don't have enough to uh, scroll through um, filters at the side so you can sort them by what's this by favorite vehicles vehicle class and tier, very useful indeed. And um, just above that, you've got all the uh, the other stuff. You've got the uh, commander of your vehicle here, and the rest of the crew. Uh, the different ammunition types that you've got loaded. Uh, retrofits. Um, I believe retrofits in armored warfare are effectively the equivalent of uh, equipment in, in in world tanks. I haven't actually experimented with retrofits yet. And uh, then you've got consumables. So you can have your repair kits, your first aid kits, fire extinguishers, and so on and so on. Uh, it's all good stuff. Um, up here, if we go back up to the top, click into base, then uh, you can build and upgrade various buildings which will um, give you certain bonuses. Uh, for instance, the garage here will uh, reduce the repair cost of your vehicles. Um, that's the one I seem to be upgrading most at the moment. Click up in Dossier, you can see, oh, this is nice. I haven't actually viewed this before. Um, this gives you all the kind of uh, statistics. You can see, for instance, I've had a 56% kill to death ratio. You get hundreds of different kinds of statistics in, um, in Armored Warfare compared to World of Tanks. For instance, um, after a battle has ended, um, you get loads and loads of different um, statistics that you just don't get in World of Tanks. Um, looks like this, these are achievements. There aren't, aren't as many as in World of Tanks, but then you wouldn't expect it necessarily. And up there is a Battalion, which is the equivalent of Platoon. Um, there's not really anything to show you in there, it just comes up with this message. Um, I, I do know that uh, it's not free in Armored Warfare. You have to pay credits or gold um, in order to create a battalion, or in other words a platoon. Um, 
But maybe that's something that will change. Who knows? In the start of World of Tanks, back in the day, a um, very long time ago, uh, platoons were not free. Um, but now they are, so that's all fine. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to leave you to uh, watch a few of my uh, games now. Um, I know that they are not victories, but the point is that the video and the audio were in sync. Uh, that's the important thing, right? And I'm just, you know, showing them to you to show you some Armored Warfare, not necessarily to show you some good games. Uh, there aren't, there isn't a replay system in Armored Warfare, or if there is, I've not bothered to find one yet. Um, so you'll just have to make do with um, just videos that effectively show you what the game is all about, not, not necessarily how good I am at it yet. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy watching them. And so we are going to enter the first battle now. Um, I'm going to use the M41 Bulldog, um, which is available in World of Tanks. Uh, it's a tier 7 light tank there, but uh, in Armored Warfare it's uh, just a tier 2 light tank. Because of course, um, vehicles are more modern, so the more, you know, the less modern they are, the, the lower tier they are, if that makes sense. Um, the map is called Roughneck, although that doesn't really mean anything, um, even to me. <laughs> um, maps are, of course, completely different to World of Tanks. All new to me. You can see the, uh, the interface here is very similar to um, World of Tanks. You can see list of people on your team and the list of players on the enemy team, what they're driving, the uh, type of vehicle that they're driving, whether it's a light tank, whether it's a truck or whatever, and the tier of the vehicle that they are driving. And as well as some kind of um, hint um, at the bottom. Looks like we're about to enter the uh, battle. Here we are. Driver, crank it. Just managed to get in in time. Let's see what we can do. This thing is fast. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I know it's uh, fast in World of Tanks, but um, it feels really fast in this game because I'm driving past the T-54 there, which is not as fast as it is in World of Tanks. An M48 pattern up here. I'm going to zoom past. Allegedly, this thing has a top speed of 72 kilometers an hour. Not when you drive through the barriers, though. Seems to be some kind of refinery over here, so break through the barriers. And see if we can uh, spot anything early on. Nothing down there. Right. Of course, when you're in a vehicle that's so fast, you get to this kind of position, an advanced position, and you can't see any enemy, enemy vehicles because they've not arrived yet. <laughs> There's one over there, though. And I did receive a hit from him. T-54. Fortunately, my shot missed, although it probably wouldn't have penetrated anyway. Shooting at the angled front of a T-54, not going to go well. Weird, because there are sneaky little positions between the buildings, like there, for instance. I managed to get through that time, hitting the uh, the side of that T-54. Another one up there. I can't hit him. Let's drive around. Drive through the lamp post, because why the hell not? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can, I, can I get low glacis? Yeah, I can get low glacis. Took a hit in return, mind you. Not ideal. Any forty eight patterns going into engaging. 
Come on, come out. You know you want to. Missed. Oh well. A fast vehicle. I'm sure we evade his firepower for a few moments while I get into cover. There we go. See if I can flank this other guy. Nope, he's gone. Alright. Well, let's see if we can flank the original one. No hit taken. Gonna come around this corner. There are fuel tanks in the way. Ah, here we go. Hit. Yep, good hit. Ooh, it's turning around this way. Yep, oh, I didn't penetrate him. Only blew his tracks off. And he did penetrate, penetrate me. Well, gonna put a good shot into him, Come and on. then someone else takes him out. So, this area is clear. Let's move on. Things aren't going so well on the other side of the map, however. The uh, enemy team does seem to be dominating over there. Bit of a jump there. <laughs> it's always fun when there's a bit of a jump. T54 in the distance. Couldn't see much of him though. And even if I'd have hit the side of his turret, it wouldn't have penetrated. See him. Took a uh, speculative shot there, but I don't think it hit. Ooh. See if it falls up there. No, no penetration. Right. And then we hit the ground. Brilliant. <laughs> well, I'll take another shot anyway, since he's likely to still be there. Pull back a bit. Try to get a shot into him. Didn't work. And we're dead. Destroyed by a T-54. And um, that's the end of that battle. So let's move on to the second one. And here we go, we're now entering a battle in the T-62, which is a Tier 3 vehicle in uh, Armored Warfare, not a Tier 10. <laughs> I'm not that good. Yeah, not got a Tier 10 already. It's... Anyway. Where are we this time? Port Storm. Again, doesn't really mean anything to me, and probably doesn't really mean anything to any of you guys either. I'm the only tier 3 of my team, but there are two tier 3's on the enemy team. And we've got a tier 1. Yeah, I don't think matchmaker is uh, something that's incredibly different between the two, <laughs> if I'm honest. Which I suppose is a bit of a bummer, but... Oh well, that's, uh, there's only so much it can do in both games. This uh, this map, I do believe, sort of simulates some kind of uh, shipping port. Um, Driver, you're going to see loads and loads Gunner, of stacked containers very soon. Loader, ready up. Up. Driver, move out. Again, like the T-54, this isn't as fast in other warfare as it is in World of Tanks. They sort of they're not called medium tanks in armored warfare, they're called main battle tanks, but the medium tanks, in effect, um, aren't as fast. Also, uh, that's what I've found. Um, I think there's similar things with the, the M48 and M4, M60 patterns as well. I've not actually played those yet, um, although I will get my hands on them very soon. Whereas the light tanks, the Bulldog for instance, um, very similar speeds between the two games. Now you can see it's a shipping port, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Right, well I've got a sort of um, easternmost position here. Drive up this road. Hopefully I might be able to get some flanking shots of some kind into enemy vehicles as they drive across from behind that ship over there. Oh, something's been spotted. Can't see it though. Identify. Oh, there's something over there. No. A shot just as he started moving Identify. backwards. Hostile so tank. Shell didn't go in. Didn't give quite enough lead on that one. So again, doesn't go in. I take a hit, but it doesn't penetrate. My shot penetrates him, though. Good stuff. In case you're thinking that I'm not uh, manoeuvring to avoid artillery, um, by the way, artillery doesn't start until tier 4. Now, warfare, also, I've noticed. Be sure there aren't any uh, below tier 4. Can't quite see those enemy vehicles over there, so. Continue focusing on that M48 pattern up there. Looks like something just blew up. Nope, shell hits the ground. Alright, well. Identify target. Awesome, can we see him? You can see him. Yep, yeah, good hit. That wasn't a shell that caused that explosion, by the way. That was just me reversing into the tanker truck. Next shell hits the ground. Identify. Awesome, Don't forget, I'm not um, that good at this game yet. <laughs> I'm not going to let you forget that. Solid hit on that um, enemy vehicle. What is it? It's an object 155. Never heard of it. <laughs> Side of a T-54. I'll uh, take that any day. If you don't mind. What next? Another T-54. At the back there. Now, I do notice this M41 Bulldog coming up towards my flank, oh, who doesn't really seem to be much of a threat right now. Because these over. guys are all penetrating me, that's not good. All I can penetrate is something that's not shooting at me. Got to uh, get back. Prepare my tracks because they were blown off. I also had to heal my driver because he got killed. Or wounded, I should say. Can't heal someone from the dead, technically. There's that sneaky bulldog now behind me. Get a shot into him. Although, I think he's going to kill me. Yes, he is. Unfortunately. It's the end of me. He uh, reloads a lot faster than I do. And uh, I didn't repair the tracks in time. Well, anyway, um, I did say in advance that they weren't going to be victories, um, but uh, I hope you've uh, sort of grasped the fact that uh, Armoured Warfare is very, very similar to World of Tanks, and uh, I do find it fun and enjoyable to play, and uh, you will definitely see more Armoured Warfare videos from me in the future. In the meantime, viewers, I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and good luck on that battlefield. I'll see you next time.